Yo, what's up everyone? It's Gad here with episode 9. And in this episode, what we're going to be adding in is a weapon recoil animation. And then also some particle effects and a light for when we shoot. So as you can see, it makes it look a lot better when we're shooting now. So with that out of the way, let's just get straight into this video. Alright, so before we get started on the video, I just need to fix some bug quickly. Which I remember recording the fix for, but obviously I just forgot to put it in a video. So what the bug is, is if you hold down shift and then move forward, then you'll just be moving really fast but still in the idle animation, which obviously isn't what we want. So to fix that, it's really easy. We just need to go into the animator. And then from the entry, we just want to right click onto the walking and then set this layer as default state. And then all we have to do is just delete this idle state because we don't actually need it. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's just get back into the video. Alright, so before we get started programming the recoil animations, what we're going to do is in the player here, where we've got the camera follow position, we're going to right click and create an empty. And then I'm just going to call this recoil follow position. And then on a virtual camera, I'm just going to drag in the recoil follow position to be the follow and the look at. So now we're ready to start writing the code. So I'm just going to go into the weapon here and then create a new component. And I'm just going to call this weapon recoil and then hit create and add. So now in this script, what we're going to want is a reference to the transform of the recoil follow position. And then we're also going to want a serialized field and it's going to be a float. And then I'm just going to call this kickback amount. And then after this, we're going to have another serialized field and it's going to be a float. And then we're going to have one that's called the kickback speed. And then also another one that's called the return speed. And then finally, we're going to have two more floats. And then one's going to be the current recoil position. And then the other one's going to be called the final recoil position. So in this script, we're not going to be using the start, so I'm just going to delete this. And then we're just going to make a public void down here. And I'm going to call this trigger recoil. And then in here, all I'm going to do is just go current recoil position. And then plus equal the kickback amount. And then one quick thing I didn't even know till recently, is if we've only got one line in a function, what we don't actually need is these brackets here. And then instead, we can just have an equal sign and a more than sign. And then just paste this line back here, which just makes it look a lot tidier. So in the update function, what we're going to do is go to the current recall position and then set this equal to mathf.lerp. And then we're going to lerp from the current recall position to zero. And then for the time, it's just going to be the return speed. And then we're going to times this by time dot delta time. Now I'm just going to duplicate this line and we're going to change this to the final recall position. And then also this current recall position, we're going to change this to the final recall position as well. But instead of returning to zero, we're going to go to the current recall position. And then the speed is just going to be the kickback speed. And so the last thing we're going to do here is just set the recall follow position dot local position. And then set this equal to a new vector three. And then this is just going to be zero and then zero on the Y. And then finally on the Z is going to be the final recall position. And before we trigger this function in the weapon manager script, I'm just going to fill up these variables here. So the kickback amount, I'm just going to set this to minus one. And the kickback speed, I'm going to set this equal to 10. And then finally, I'm just going to set the return speed to 20. And now in our weapon manager script, I'm just going to get a reference to the recoil script. I'm just going to go weapon recoil, call this recoil. And now we can get this in the start. So I'm just going to go recoil and set this equal to get component. And then it's going to be weapon recoil. And then the last thing we're going to do is in the fire method is trigger the recoil function. So then all we have to do is just go recoil dot trigger recoil. So now over in UDC, I'm just going to play this and test it out. And then you can see that I forgot to set the recoil follow position. So I'm just going to do that now. So I'm just going to drag that in here. And then now in the game, you can see every time we shoot, the camera's getting kicked back. So now with that done, we can add in the muzzle flash particle effects and then also we're going to have a light that flashes every time we shoot. I'm not actually going to show you how to make the particle effects because I'm actually really bad at using the particle system. But I have a link to the one that I'm using if you want to download it. Alright, so now I've added in my particle effects. What I'm going to do is on our weapon, where we've got the barrel position, I'm just going to drag in the particle effects there. And then also on the barrel position, I'm going to create an empty. And I'm just going to call this muzzle flashlight. And then add a component here and it's just going to be a light. And I'm just going to change colour to something more orangey. 
And then I'm going to set the intensity to something like 2. And then I'm setting this to 2 now because in the script I'm just going to use this number to be what the value we want to set it to. So basically this is going to be our variable instead. But then of course you can just make one if you want. And now in the weapon manager script I'm going to add a few more variables. The first one's going to be a light which I'm going to call muzzle flashlight. And then after this we're going to have a particle system. And then I'm going to call this muzzle flash particles. And then after this I'm going to add a float which I'm going to call light intensity. And finally a serialized field. And this could be another float which I'm going to call light return speed. And then I'm just going to set this to something like 20. And then now right at the bottom I'm going to create a new function and just call this trigger muzzle flash. So the first thing I'm going to do in here is just play the particle effect. So I'm just going to go muzzle flash particles dot play. And then finally in here I'm just going to set the muzzle flash light dot intensity. And then I'm going to set this to the light intensity. And remember I said we need to set this in the start so I'm just going to do that now. And before we can actually get the intensity we need a reference to the light first. So I'm just going to go muzzle flash light. Set this equal to get component in children. And then this is going to be a light. And then we're also going to need a reference to the particle system. So I'm just going to type in muzzle flash particles. Do the same thing. Set this to get component in children. And then this is just going to be a particle system. And then so now finally we can set the light intensity. So I'm just going to go light intensity. Set this equal to the muzzle flash light dot intensity. And now after this when we've got it I'm just going to set the muzzle flash light dot intensity to zero. And now all we need to do is just lurk back to zero after we've shot. So I'm going to go muzzle flash light dot intensity. And then set this equal to mathf dot lerp. And then we're going to lerp from the muzzle flash light dot intensity. Down to zero. And then the speed is going to be the light return speed. And then finally just times this by time dot delta time. And now we lurp back to zero. The last thing we need to do is in the fire method is just run the function down here. So in here I'm just going to type in trigger muzzle flash. And now we're ready to test this. So now if I look at this cube and I shoot, you can see the reflection from the light. And then we've got the muzzle flash particle system as well. So that's everything for this video. And in the next one we're going to be adding in the shoulder swap to the camera. And then also when we crouch up and down the camera is going to follow us up and down a bit. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.